Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Book Instruments. I am Michaela, and today I'm doing the best video ever, and that is my book haul from Book Expo, or BEA, however you know it as, and Book Con, and it was my first time at both, and I had so much fun, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with, this was one of, actually one of the first books I got. I ran, I didn't run, I walked briskly to the Macmillan booth as soon as the doors opened and I got a ticket for V.E. Schwab. I've actually never read one of her books but I hear that they're good so I was like okay I'll get it. And that is Vicious and it's not, it's not like a advanced reader copy, it's a book that's already out but they like redid the cover and it sounds interesting. It's like about these two roommates that are villains, uh, I don't know. I got it because it sounded, it was V.E. Schwab and everyone says she's good, so I don't know. Next, I got, this is one of the most anticipated releases, and it is Wild Card by Marie Lu, and this is the second book in the Warcross series, if you've read that, that is so good, and I actually ended up getting two copies because there was this, like, uh, secret release that Penguin did and I just happened to walk up and I was like, what's this line for? And they were like, oh, it's a wild card. And I was like, oh, I need to get in it now. <laughs> and then I ended up going to her signing also because I didn't want to go to her signing at BookCon because I didn't want to wait forever. So then I ended up with two copies. One's personalized to me and one's just a regular galley. Uh, so when I do my review, which should be coming later this week, I'm going to be giving my second copy away. So Look out for that if you want to get a copy of Wildcard. I'm surrounded by books. Okay, next is a book that I didn't actually really want, but I wasn't doing anything at that time, and I was like, okay, I'll go get it. And that is The Return of the Isle of the Lost, and it's signed by the author. I'll probably just trade this for something else, just because I've never read this series, and I've never really had the inkling to read this series. Uh, but it's like based... I think, I don't know if the movie came out first or the book, probably the book, probably. And it's just about like the children of the evil Disney characters. And it sounds interesting, but I don't know, I've just never read it. Next, I have from Book Expo, The Iron Flower, which is, the, I'm not gonna read the description because it's the second book in the series that I haven't read yet. And it's in the Black Witch series, which I've heard of, but I'm not really sure what it's about, but, I saw it and I was like, well, I have it on my TBR, so I might as well get the second book while it's free. Next, I have The Girl King by Mimi Yu. And I, I don't, I didn't actually read the description. I got it because I felt like it was going to be like Mulan or something. But it sounds like a badass female main character type of book, which is pretty much all I read nowadays, like Throne of Glass. Next, I have. I actually wanted to get this at Book Expo, but I didn't know they were doing a signing, so I missed out on it. And then I missed out on the galley drop too. I, I don't know what I was doing with my life. And they give it out at BookCon, so I made my way through that scary line at BookCon to get Seafire by Natalie Parker, and I actually ended up getting. It personalized to me, and she said, oh no, Michaela, stay steady, steely, I don't know. I'm sorry if you ever watch this. I cannot read other people's handwriting very well. But this book, it's just about like lady pirates, so I feel like it's going to remind me of Daughter of the Pirate King, hopefully because I really like that series, and we'll see. I'm not going to really go into a bunch of descriptions because I have so many books, I'm sorry. Uh, and next I have When Elephants Fly. This is a contemporary. I was actually picking up, I think it was the Iron, or the, the flower one. Or was, yeah, the Iron Flower, and this author was right next to her, so I was like, okay, I'll grab it. But I think I'm going to trade this one because it doesn't really sound like a contemporary that I would really be interested in. But other people are, so... I'm ready for my book piles to tumble. Uh, I have two copies of this book. I don't know what my second copy is, but 
actually got two copies of Imprison the Sky by AC Goggin. I'm not sure how to say her name. I love her, but I forgot to ask her when I met her. So um, this is the second book of Reading the Earth, which was super good. It reminded me so much of Avatar The Last Airbender, which I watched all the time when I was little, and I loved it. And I knew I really, really, really wanted this book. It was one of my top five arcs. And I saw that she was draw doing a pass, well, not, it's like a password job, but it wasn't. It was, she said if you go into the booth and requested it, you could get it. And I was like, I need this. So I went and got it while I was in line for a wild card. And then she ended up having a signing and I ended up going to that too. So I have two copies. One's personalized, one's not. And I met her and she's literally the sweetest person ever. If you haven't read this series, please go read it now. It's so good. Okay, next I have The Storm Runner. This was actually by coincidence that I got because I was in line for the uh, Isle of the Lost book and they put these out and I was like, oh, I'll grab one. And this is, uh, it's like Roshan, Roshani Chachsky, I am going to say her name, is under Rick Reardon. This is another person under Rick Reardon, but this one is Mayan mythology. And it has to do with like surfing and stuff too, and it sounded really interesting, so I grabbed that up. Next, this one was at BookCon. I actually had to purchase this one to get it signed by Renee Adier, but I put off purchasing this book for a while because I knew I was gonna have to pay to get a book signed by her, and that is Flame in the Mist. And this is basically a Mulan retelling, and I love Mulan. It was my favorite Disney movie as a child. Still is my favorite Disney movie, and I cannot read. Wait, bleh, bleh, bleh. I cannot wait to read this. And the second book just came out today, which will probably be like yesterday once this video goes up. Okay, next we have *The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein* by Kirsten White, and I've heard a lot about this, and it's really interesting because she decided to do this on the 200th anniversary of Frankenstein, and Frankenstein is like one of the older books that I actually enjoyed reading and so I feel like this would be very fun to read. Next is funny story. I got this book because I accidentally got in a mosh pit the third morning of the book expo and I decided I might as well grab this book since I'm in a mosh pit and I can't get out and that is Rule by Ellen Goodlett. And it says it's a Three Dark Crown meets Pretty Little Liars, and I liked both of those, so I feel like I will enjoy this. And then this book, I actually got to go to an author breakfast thing that I won in a lottery, and I got this in my goodies bag, and it is called Check Book One Hashtag Hockey Please, and it's a graphic novel. Looks like it's about hockey or something. I don't read graphic novels often, but it looks interesting, so I will probably read this one. Next was also when I was in line for Isle of the Lost book, and that is Nine from the Nine Worlds by Rick Riordan, and this is the next book in the Magnet Chase, Magnet Chase series, which I haven't started that series yet, so I probably won't get to this for a while. Next is A Shot in the Dark by Lynn Truss, and this is a British mystery novel. I picked this up because I was picking up The Girl King and it was sitting there and I was like, oh, that sounds interesting, I'll grab that too. Next is The Dark Deep by Ali Condi and Brennan Reeks, and this sounds like kind of like a, a creepier novel. But I mean, I could just be reading it wrong, I don't know. And uh, it says it is a truly spectacular adventure. See, the reason I think it's creepy or like on the side is because it says, you come closer if you dare. I don't know how I can do this. I'm not good with horror. Next was also in my goodie bag at the author breakfast and I got to meet this author. And this is Sadie by Courtney Summers. And this is a contemporary book. And it says, if she dies, she takes the truth with her. So, sounds like Freddie Little almost again. So, that sounds interesting. Maybe I'll actually read a contemporary for once. Next is one of my other anticipated arcs. 
and I've already been through three of them, if you didn't notice. And this is Escaping from Houdini, and this is the third novel in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, which I was so pumped to get. I was like number 20 in line, and because I was like the 20th person, the first 100 people got a signed book bark, blah, 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 a signed bookmark by Carrie Maniscalco, and it's a uh, Moonlight Carnival ticket. And that looks cool. It looks like this, and her signature is right there. And then I have it signed to me on here. I'm literally going to be cleaning up a pile of books after this is over. Next is a lot of people have been talking about this book, and I just we got in line for it because it seemed popular. And that is the Priory of the Orange Tree. This book is freaking massive, massive. This is, it's like 850 pages and I, it's about dragons. I got that from the cover and it's a high fantasy and I don't really read high fantasy often. So this will be in change of pace and this book doesn't come out till next March. This is the oldest, like, farthest out book that I got, and I was like, sounds interesting, I'm gonna get it, because everyone said, like, it's supposed to be really good, and she's a good author. Oh, it's by Samantha Shannon. Next is another highly anticipated one that I have not read the rest of the books, and this is the fifth book in the Ugly series, and this is called The Imposters by Scott Westerfield. Next is, it was on the uh, Scholastic table and I picked it up and it sounds interesting because I've always been really intrigued with World War II and the centers around World War II and that is The Resistance by Jennifer A. Nielsen. Next, <laughs> I went paddle to battle with my sister to win a trivia thing at the National Geographic book booth. And we got this little sampler of like a book that they're releasing next year or this year. I don't know. Next, I got in my goodie bag again. And this is The Darkest Star by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And if you've read the Obsidian novels, this is a continuation from that series. And it has to do with the aliens, I think. She tried to explain it and literally she was like, so you guys have read the Obsidian series, right? And every, I'm like, yeah. And then everyone else did not raise their hands and I was like, how oh, have you not read the Obsidian series? It's wonderfully delicious if you love sci-fi, please pick it up. Next is at Owl Crate, you could spin a wheel and you could win books or like other prizes. And I spun it and got, oh, I'll show you. I spun it and got The Upside of Unrequited and by Becky Albertalli and I actually already own this book but I own the paperback version so now I'll have the hardback version and then my sister did it and she won Roseblood which is like a Phantom of the Opera retelling so that sounds very interesting. Next is another highly anticipated book and that is City of Ghosts by V.E. Schwab also and this one, I saw a bunch of people with it and I'm like, how did you get that book? How? Where? I want it. And everyone was like, it was just sitting on the table. But then I met someone who said, if you go up to them and ask them for it, they have it underneath. And I did. And they, they did. And it was like, the, the, the there was like three copies left and I got one of them. And I was so happy. And next was also in my goodie bag. And that is Black Wings Beating by Alex London. And he basically said it's like, Valkyrie in a way and it's this kid's like two brothers They're related somehow and one goes out like to find a guy that he likes but then the, the, the other sibling like goes to protect their sibling It sounded very interesting and like nothing I've ever heard of before so that's cool Next is Fury Born by Claire Legrand and literally Claire Legrand is so sweet and I think I ran into her like 20 times during the whole time I was at BookCon and Book Expo and I love her. And this is uh, it's a fantasy book. I've heard a lot about it and it has to do with a red queen and like a sun queen and like neither of them are good or something. There's like assassins. I don't know. It sounds really good. I'm gonna read it. 
Next, I got A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. <laughs> and I've actually been in like an uh, interview, uh, not me, I listened in on an interview with Bridget Kemmerer before and I like her, she sounds a nice person. And everyone else was getting it, so I decided to get it. It says, fall in love, break the curse, break the curse, save the kingdom. Sounds like something right up my alley. Next is one that has been going around a lot, and that is Children of the Blood and the Bone. And I, she was actually at the other breakfast, and I got to meet her, but I wasn't there for her signing. But I traded her book for something else. And so I have a signed book now, and that's just cool, and it sounds really good, and I cannot wait to read it. And the inside is so beautiful. I've heard the outside looks nice. Oh, the outside does look really nice. I like that. And my prized possession. I'm not done yet, but my prized possession was just nice. And that is, I got my copy of City Bones. Yeah, City of Bones. Signed by the Queen, Cassandra Clare, and I'm so excited. I also got a sampler for her next book, and I can't wait to read that. Next is Empire of Sand by Tasha Suri, and I actually didn't get this one, but I traded it for something else. I don't know. I traded a lot of books, and it sounds really good. It has to do with like power and blood, and I don't know. It sounds like a book I would read. Next is Fox by Nadine Brandes, and this is another one I traded, and it has to deal with like 17th century calls for death, there's a plague, sounds really cool, and I preferred it over the, I had like a contemporary, or, no I think I had a copy of a book, so I didn't need to, so I traded it for this one. Next was another signing where I had to pay for it, and that is oh, I got Always and Forever by Always and Forever Laura Jean because I only have a hardback for this and my other books are paperback. So I wanted to get a paperback to match the rest of my books. And I got it signed, and then I also got these like nail decals with it. That was interesting. I don't know. Okay, I have more over here. Down to two books. <sighs> okay. These are my last two of my top five that I wanted to get, and I, I got all top five, and I was so freaking excited. I worked really hard for this book. Really hard. So this was a password drop, and we found out that they, they were dropping it at 10, so we stood nearby and we waited for the password and I literally sprinted up there and I was second in line and that is The Wicked King by Holly Black. I am so excited to read this. It doesn't come out till January and I was like, I need to get this book and I think I'm going to put off reading it for a little longer just because I'm going to have to wait a whole year to get the next book. Maybe a year and a half. And I'm very excited. And that is the second book to the Cruel Prince series if you do not know. And this is the last book that everyone was trying to get I tried to get, like, I wanted to get this two times before when it was released, but the lines were so long, and the third time I was like, okay, I'm gonna get in line. I get up there, they're getting down to the count, there's three books left, I get the very last copy, and I was like, oh my god, and that is What If It's Us by Adam Silvera and Becky Albertalli, and I just started this, and it's already so good, and the meet cute, and I just love it. And this one is about like two guys, one's like getting over a breakup, one's like living in New York for the summer, they meet at the post office and they have their meet cute and it goes from there. Next, I have some swag that I got. So I got, it's kind of wrinkling now, this print from Rick Reardon, signed. Oh no, I'm running out of room. I got this band, bandana for when I got the, oh, Seafire, came with Seafire. And then I had, this was something I got at the author breakfast. This is a Renegades poster. I don't know. And it has all the characters on it. If you can, oh no, if you can see it. Ugh. 
And then I got the Harry Potter 20th anniversary print. And I also got, I don't know, the bag that came with it. Looks like this. And the print looks like oh, this. And this is what the 20th anniversary books are gonna look like. And then I got this for um, the, the Truth Witch series. It's the Blood Witch, the next book. And then I got a Princess Leia print signed by the author. It looks like that. And another of the Truth Witch things. This one's signed by the author. And then I got accidentally in my bag two of the same poster and that is this legendary and then on the back there is a pro the prologue for legendary and then i got a sampler for queen of air and darkness by cassandra claire and it is signed on the inside and then i got a sampler for the eye of the lost graphic novel and it is signed on the front by the author and then I got a Map of Days, the fourth book in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series, Sampler. And then this print signed by Roshani Chakshi. And then I got this thing, First Shades of Magic, it's got like little picture things. And then I got these pins that say, YA and Slay, No Regrets, and Treat Yourself. Treat yourself. And then I got a free pop socket at the Cassandra Clare signing, and it just says Shadowhunters, it has a rune on it, and it says Cassandra Clare. And then I got this at the author breakfast, and this is the Witchland series pin. And I got this Seafire sticker. And it says, Sisterhood is Survival. And then I got these legendary pins. And then I spun a wheel at the bookish box and got a $5 gift card. And this was $6, so I only had to pay a dollar. And it is, of course, in Thorns and Roses pin that says, Home Sweet Home. And it has the mountains and the three stars. I got this Harry Potter 20th anniversary pin. I got this Rain the Earth pin. And I got this necklace for the Cami Garcia book that was also in the swag bag. And then here's my pass for a book expo. I don't know, drop something. And I got this Dear Evan Hansen pin and this pen that says I'm more than a hundred words. And then here is my book Compass, one of them. And then last but not least, a bag I got from National Geographic that looks like this. I also have another bag, but I think oh, I think it might be in here. Oh no. Try to delicately delicately move all this. Aha. This is the very last thing, and this is the swag bag that we got at the Fierce Reads Author Breakfast, and looks like this, and in each of those little things it has a signing from each of the authors that was there, and it says, my favorite author said to me, but it's just their signatures, and then on this side it just says, Fierce Reads, uncover your next obsession, and that is finally, I think, Oh wait, no, no, there was one more. I forgot it was in here. The very last thing, and that is a pin that says, Oh my god, there's no oh my god. The there's nothing cool about being popular. Gina Show Walter, it must be a book coming out. And it looks like oh no, this looks like Ah this. And that is everything. I hope you enjoyed my book haul. Comment down below what books you're excited about. I'm excited to read all my top five. I've already read War. I've already read Wild Card. I'm now reading What If It's Us. 
and i think that is everything please go follow me on social media instagram and twitter and talk to me about what you like that i got <laughs> i don't know and i hope you enjoyed this i will see you next time bye it's just a fantasy taking over like a disease pull me out of this i can't breathe it's burning